a lot about holiday entertaining, but sometimes you need a break from all of that to curl up on the couch with a cup of hot cocoa, Christmas lights twinkling, and a holiday movie playing. With so many to choose from, we had to ask our pal, Refinery29 Unbothered's Kathleen Newman Bramang, what is worth watching? First off, I want to say congratulations on your fabulous wedding. Ooh. I know we don't talk about relationship stuff much. Not but it's really. Fabulous. I save the mushy for on screen. But <laughs> thank you, thank you. It was gorgeous to be just uh, you know just to see the the love. It's really nice, and we like to see the love in the movies as well. So we do. Let's get into the holiday season and what we need to be watching. Yes, let's. So we're starting with a Christmas rom com. It is The Princess Switch Three. Okay. So you remember The Princess Switch. Yep. Then there was The Princess Switch Switched Again. Mm -hmm. Now, I would have called this one The Princess Switch. Oh, we switching again again? <laughs> but they went with The Princess Switch 3, Romancing the Star. Listen, I have some notes, but it's okay. We'll, we'll um, deal with it. Yeah. It stars Vanessa Hudgens in not one, not two, but three roles. She is back okay. as the lookalike royals, Margaret and Stacy, and their troublemaking doppelganger, Fiona. And in this one, they all get up together to try to get back this priceless Christmas artifact that gets stolen. Their men are back. The five men in this movie, mm. they are back. Um, and yeah, I mean, it is like a mindless, fun romp. These movies are so <laughs> ridiculous, but they have become like a staple in the Hollywood season now, or the holiday, holiday season. season now. Yes. Um, and yeah, Vanessa Hudgens is going to be switching until she's 90, it seems like. You might as well. <laughs> she's got a formula and it works. And I know someone who would be all over this cheesy movie. Movie. It's tea. You're such a sucker for feel-good Christmas movies. Are you not? The cheesier, the better. I am. Well, it's not the holidays until those made-for-TV holiday movies start airing. Exactly. Uh, I love them. I like to binge on them, and I like that they're becoming a little bit more diverse. Yes. So yes. I, I really enjoy that. But I like to sit on the edge of my couch, and I'm like, I wonder how this is gonna end. <laughs> Fall in love. I wonder if they're gonna yeah. fall in love. It's yeah. the same scenario. My, I like to have fun with my family, and they'll make, we like to guess on like what the little twist will be. But it's usually, you know, a woman. She moves to a small town. She had a busy, you know, city life, mm -hmm. and she moves to a small town. She meets a guy. He makes her all down to earth, and they fall in love. Then they get in a fight. They break up, and then they fun. Then they, they get back together again. It's the same thing, and I love it. Yeah, that's it. Spoiler alert: They're gonna end up in the small town with the dog. You forgot the yes. dog in the pickup. And the dog. Yeah, yeah the, dog. the dog in the pickup Around truck. Around the tree. Yes. No <laughs> tree. No plot. Just vibes. That's right. Just vibes, man. <laughs> okay, your next pick is a gay comedy we all need. Do tell. Yes. And just like Tracy said, I love that things are getting more diverse, yeah. including not just straight couples being the stars of these movies. Mm -hmm. So this is Single All the Way on Netflix. It stars Michael Urie, who you may recognize from Ugly Betty or Younger. Oh, yeah. um, and he stars as Peter, a perpetually single man who is trying to avoid the judgment from his family on Christmas. So he enlists the help of his best friend, Nick, to pose as his boyfriend. <gasps> but then things go awry when his mom, when Peter's mom, um, put, sets him up on a blind date with a personal trainer uh -huh. uh, played by Luke McFarlane. Okay. So the personal trainer gets in there and then things go awry. But it is so, so cute. And again, it is what this genre needs. Um, I, I love this movie so much. It's just so, so good. And it also stars Jennifer Coolidge, who is coming off an incredible role in The White Lotus. If you haven't seen that, you should as well. It is so, so good. It also is directed by Michael Meyer, who um, directed Spring Awakening on Broadway. Oh, beautiful. He's a Tony Award winner. I thought you were going to say for sure that it's that fake dating trope. Is there fake dating trope? Oh, yeah. It's okay. the fake dating trope oh, okay. that I love. That's one of my favorite. I love that. <laughs> Netflix did very good with that one. Okay, what is next on your list? Okay, next, it's Zoe's Extraordinary Christmas. Okay. So you may know Zoe's Extraordinary Playlist, which is yes. the NBC show. It was nominated for Emmys. It stars Jane Levy mm -hmm. as Zoe. So she plays a woman who can hear the thoughts of people around her, but she only hears them in songs or musical numbers, oh. which is a power that I kind of want. That's beautiful. So this is... A a Christmas special movie that picks off where season two leaves off. Um, and Zoe is facing her first holiday without her father. 
Oh. And so she's trying to bring back the magic that he brought to every Christmas. Mm -hmm. um, and it's got all the musical numbers you're used to from the show. The cast is incredible. You've got Mary Steenburgen, Skylar mm. Astin, uh, Peter Gallagher, Bernadette Peters. All the stars are there. And then there's choreography from, I don't know if you remember her from So You Think You Can Dance, but Mandy Moore, an yes. Emmy Award winning cho choreographer, she choreographed the whole thing. Oh my gosh, yeah. that is like star-studded cast. Right? I love that. I'm going to check that out. Uh, so that covered this singing. Is Do we have some dancing next? Oh, do we? Okay. This is Serve It Up, a Christmas dance reunion okay. starring Corbin Blue and Monique Coleman Okay. from High School Musical. I don't know if you remember Chad and Taylor from High School Musical, <laughs> yeah. but they are reunited. Okay. And so the plot goes like this. It is a uh, big city girl, mm -hmm. <laughs> like that trope we know, we love going it. to a small town. So she goes yeah. back to the resort where she and her family used to go as a child. And yes. then she reconnects with her childhood dance partner, yeah. which is Corbin Blue's character. And then they reconnect while they're planning the Christmas dance at this resort. Mm -hmm. And I just love this because these are two actors who, you know, were relegated to the black best friend yeah. stereotype in High School Musical. And now they get to be the stars. They get to fall in love. It's just about good things happening to good people. I cannot wait for this one. This is their year. I will take all the dance movies anytime. I yes. love to watch them with my kids. They're fantastic. Okay, I see you have a binge-worthy holiday series on your list as well. I do. So this is called Home for Christmas. Okay. It is a Norwegian series. It's actually oh, nice. Netflix's first Norwegian series. It came out in 2019. Okay. So you are going to have to watch it with subtitles. Yeah. But I promise it's worth it. Mm -hmm. And so it is about a nurse, Johanna, who, um, again, the, the, the idea of families being super judgmental, I yes. think, comes up a lot in these movies. I wonder where that comes from. Right? <laughs> these families being judgmental. So anyway, <laughs> Johanna, in order to get away from that, wants to have a boyfriend on Christmas. So she starts like speed dating, yep. scrambling to have a boyfriend by Christmas Eve. The series follows her as she dates around. And it's funny. It's sexy. It doesn't have all of the tropes that we've talked about that happen in these movies a lot. Yeah. yeah. It's just going to be so relatable and romantic. It's an easy binge too. It's 30 minute episodes, two seasons. Yeah. Yeah. It's good. Okay, so I'm very I'm I'm very much into that. And you know what? Family stop being so judgmental. <laughs> Holidays. Right? Look at how many shows we made out of that. Can be. Thank you so much for that incredible 